we have about like a 40 minute uh, class, so like nice and short. I think the most important thing is that you're here to truly have these 40 minutes to get out of your head and gotta get out of like the, the this chat this and he said that and she said that and all the stuff that we get trapped in in our minds and to really just take these pure 40 minutes for your breath, for your body to truly transform the way you feel when you walk out that door, right? So it's like a little rebirth. And it doesn't matter, even if we have 20 minutes, this is possible. Even if we had five minutes, even with a single breath, I think it's possible. Okay, so close your eyes. Come into a comfortable seated <coughs> position, whatever works for you, whatever you like. And see if you can begin to listen through both of your ears at the same time, the right ear and the left ear. If you're listening, you can pick up all these different kinds of sounds, maybe the air conditioning, someone moving something, a few steps. The exercise here that I'm asking you to do is to listen without reacting. See if you can listen to the sounds without reacting to them. So we are coming into a different state of consciousness. It's not a reactive state. It's not a compulsive state. This is a responsive state of being. We can listen. We can observe maybe even just for a second, and then you forget. But keep coming back to this place of observation. And then we'll take our listening from the outside, inside. What sounds can you pick up on in your own body? Is it possible to listen to the whisper of the in-breath, the hush of the out-breath. Can you listen to yourself thinking without reacting, just like we practiced with the outside noises? We listen and we don't react. It's hard to be still, but I think all of you can do it for three more minutes without itching, without opening your eyes to look at something. For three minutes, all of you can do it. What helps to be still? Taking our concentration and placing it on something specific, maybe the breath. So empty your lungs, exhale, and take a deep, full breath in all the way to the tops of the lungs. Beautiful. Exhale everything out. Wonderful. Now close your mouth. When we practice yoga, traditionally we're going to breathe through the nose. We say usually you use your mouth just what you need to eat and drink and maybe say a few things when necessary. Otherwise, you keep your mouth closed, and we use the nose, the breathing organ, to breathe. So close your mouth one more time. Exhale through the nose. Take a deep, full breath in. Exhale, empty the lungs. Wonderful. Imagine your sitting bones. Keep breathing like that. Imagine your sitting bones rooting downwards like tree roots to the center of the earth, as deep as you can feel. And then imagine the crown of the head lifting upwards, like a magnet towards the sky, so that the spine, that tree of nerves, is illuminated, is alive. Broaden the collarbones. Chest bone forward. Pull the navel in, lift the pelvic floor. Relax the eyebrows, relax the cheeks, the corners of the mouth relaxed, relax your chin, 
Now, keeping the attention on the breath still, take your attention to the point between your eyebrows at the third eye. Take the hands at the center of the chest in prayer position. So we connect palm to palm at the center of the chest in front of the heart. This is a prayer position. It symbolizes bringing the right side of our body with the left, the right side of the brain with the left. So it's a symbol of equanimity, equilibrium, peace, balance. Deep internal listening. Face is soft. We're going to take three ohms, of course, if you prefer to just listen to the ohm, that's perfect. Or you can ohm with me. The ohm is the sound of everyone, everything. The sound of trees, planets, people, dogs, fish, the sound of everyone. Nothing is external to it. You let the vibration rise from the pelvic floor, through the spine, up through the crown of the head. Empty the lungs. Inhale in. Oh. Two more. Inhale. Rub your hands together. Start to feel the heat building up between the hands, between right side and left side. Try and use the right and left side equally. Rub a little bit harder, like you're making fire, and then take the hands in front of your face, in front of your eyes, and just feel the vibration at the palms of your hands. Take the hands and move them to the sides of the face on either side of your ears. And listen carefully again with the right and left ear together. One more time, rub the hands together. Make a lot of heat. Good, now we'll take the hands in front of the heart. Just sitting still breathing and feeling the internal body. When do we take time to do this? Be here now, fully. Good. Take the hands back in prayer position in front of the heart and nice and slow open the eyes. Take in your hands, take in the space, welcome to yourself to the space, welcome each other to the space, beautiful presence. We'll lift the arms straight up, interlace the fingers and flip the palms up, good. Inhale, lift the shoulders up, up to the ears, as high up as you can. Good, exhale, release the shoulders down. Inhale, the shoulders lift, we breathe through the nose, exhale, shoulders down, good. Inhale, exhale. until you start to feel some fire in the shoulders. Make sure you can hear your breath. Three, two, one, keep the shoulders up. Keep the shoulders up, take the bend out of your elbows. Relax the face. Excellent, keep the arms like this, shoulders lifted. Take a little bend to your right, just a little bend. Good. Belly in, back to center. Inhale, stretch up. Shoulders up. Less bend in the elbows. Less this. Up. 
over to the left. Good. Don't look down. Look straight forward. Chin away from chest. Belly in. Come back to center. Good. Palms forward. And then like rain, slowly lower the hands down. You should feel this beautiful vibration right through the arms. All the way down. All right. Come into a tabletop position. Let's come into our tabletop. Shoulders over the wrists. The hips over the knees. Staying attentive to the breath, listening to the internal sounds, listening to your mind. Inhale, we're going to lean forward, shoulders past the wrist, exhale, lean back. Good. Inhale forward, exhale, lean back. Inhale, come back to center. This time, turn the fingers back towards the toes. Same thing, lean forward. Lean back. Good. Lean forward. Lean back. So we're beginning to find some space in the wrists or maybe tightness in the wrists. Lean back again. Stay there, hips towards the heels. Slow down your breath. Now your palms can lift off the mat. It's okay. Try and keep the fingers on the mat though. So you get a good stretch. You can bend the elbows a little bit. Bend the elbows, yeah. So we're beginning to feel, right? It's like, oh, I never <laughs> realized there was so much tightness there. We have a lot of tightness in our wrists. It affects our entire body, especially our neck. If you have chronic pain in your neck, if you have chronic pain around the upper back, this is a simple thing that you can do to really improve the situation, okay? Stretch your wrists every day. Come back to center. Counter stretch. So you're going to take now the backs of the hands on the mat. Lean a little bit forward like we've been practicing. Do your best to straighten the arms. It might be weird. I know, I know. And you're going to slowly sit back, hips towards the heels. With time, right, we'll have less bend in the elbows. You do your best for three. Stretching the wrists, two, one. Excellent. Okay. Sit down, hips on the heels. You're going to curl the toes under. Good. Toes under. Arms come up. See if you can close the rib cage. The rib cage can open and it can also close. So we're trying to close and collect the rib cage. Even a little bit, tuck the tailbone forward, pull the navel back. Inhale, lift the shoulders up again. Good. Down. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, stay, interlace fingers, flip the palms, inhale, chest forward. Keep your eyes forward, exhale, pull the chest back. Exactly, inhale forward, mouth relaxed, exhale, chest back. Inhale, move just the chest forward and just the chest back. Keep your head forward, parallel to the floor, two more, inhale, exhale, Inhale, exhale, good. Come back to center, palms forward, hands like rain, slowly, all the way down. Okay, now let's finally relax the feet. You're probably feeling something there too. Sit on the tops of the feet to get a counter stretch. So we're just lifting our knees up a little bit. Good, just lifting the knees up a little bit. Exactly. So. A little, stretching the parts of our body that we use a lot, you use your hands a lot, you use your feet a lot, it's necessary, okay? So helping to breathe into the ankles, what will that do? Truly affect our hips, our lower back, okay? Come back to center, very nice. Back to your tabletop. This is such a good place, tabletop, because see how close we are to the floor? We're very close to the floor. It feels very grounded. It feels very safe. From here, we're going to create a cow tilt. So you inhale, lift the sitting bones and the chin bone up. The feeling is if you're dragging your hands back, just forward. Exhale, this is a cat, like an angry cat. Push the floor away. Pull the navel in, round the spine. Keep going on your own. Inhale. Exhale. 
Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Stay in the cow, in the uh, cat tilt rather, so your spine is rounded and you're going to move forward a little bit past the wrist like we've been practicing. Now create a cow tilt here, lift the sitting bones, slowly look up, sit the hips towards the heels. So we're going to make a wave, okay? Inhale, coming forward, rounding the spine. Exhale, lift the hips up, sit the hips towards the heels. Try and make a wave. Inhale. Beautiful. Exhale. Waking up the spine. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Beautiful. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Curl your toes under and lift your hips up. Coming into your first downward facing dog. So you can feel free to move it around a little bit. Bend your knees, right, left, left, right. Keep the attention on the breath. What's going to keep you here? What's going to keep you in your body and out of your head, out of the thoughts? The breath. So always coming back to the breathing. If you know your Ujjayi breath, I should be able to hear it a little bit. There is a slight vibration to the breath a constriction at the back of the throat. Yeah, you can lift the right leg up, the left leg up, move it around a little bit for a few more breaths. Find a comfortableness in your movement. Find a synchronization between the body and the breath. All right. And we'll meet back in our downward facing dog. You're looking either at your knees or if it's available, you're looking at your navel, at your belly button. Instead of creating uh, a cat spine, the angry cat spine, we want to create a little bit more of that cow tilt. Do you remember the cow tilt? How the sitting bones lifted? Exactly. That's it. Press the heart towards the thighs. And then if you're looking at your navel, the chin tucks a little bit towards the chest. Everyone inhale, push the floor away, shoulders to the ears. And now keep it there. So that's your down dog. Don't relax your shoulders down. Push with your arms. That's it. Inhale, roll forward to your plank. Breathe through your nose. Exhale, lift the hips up. Downward facing dog. Good. So let's try rolling through the spine like we did on our hands and knees. Tuck the chin to the chest, round yourself forward, coming to plank. Exactly. Exhale, start with the sitting bones. Arch the spine as you return to downward facing dog. Keep going. Inhale, rolling forward through the spine. Exactly. Exhale, lift the sitting bones up. Look forward, coming to your down dog. Two more like that. Try and move a little bit slower. It's like you're moving through butter. Nice and slow, luxurious movements, luxurious breath. And then I'll meet you back in your down dog. So find stillness. No movements for a couple of breaths. Beautiful. All right, one more time, inhale, come forward to plank. This time you're going to bend the knees to the floor. Knees, chest and chin touch the floor. So this is called Ashtanga Namaskar, eight point vinyasa. We're going to slide forward to a baby cobra, just a little cobra, okay? Keep your stomach on the floor. Good, curl your toes under, bend your knees, hips towards the heels. Lift the hips up, down dog. Exactly. Let's do that again. From down dog, forward to plank. Bend the knees, chest, and chin. Slide forward to the baby cobra. Look up and back. Then curl the toes under, bend the knees. Return to downward facing dog. Beautiful. All right. Step the right foot forward noiselessly between the hands and bend the left knee down. Exactly. Good. Now step the left foot forward silently. 
feet together. Stand up and look up at your thumbs. Exhale, take the thumbs in front of the heart. With the in-breath, the arms lift. With the out-breath, we fold forward. Step the right foot back, bend the right knee, and just look up. Look up. Open the throat. Step the left foot back, and we transition through Ashtanga Namaskar. Knees, chest, and chin. Inhale forward, Bhujangasana. This is Cobra Pose. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Downward facing dog. Good. Left foot forward. Bend the right knee down. Look up, open the throat. That's it. Step the right foot forward, feet together. Stand up, look up at the thumbs. Exhale the thumbs at the heart. Again, inhale the arms lift. Exhale, hinge at the hips. Stepping the left foot back. Bend the knee, look up. Exhale, right foot back. Very good. Bend the knees, chest, and chin to the floor. Slide forward into the baby cobra. And return to your downward facing dog. Beautiful. Find the breath. Notice where your eyes are moving. If they're going around the room, it's normal, but train them. Train them to look at one point. You can choose your knees or you can choose your navel. Come forward to your plank. This time we'll take Chaturanga Dandasana, so you lower halfway down, just halfway. Good, upward facing dog. So we have a suspension between the hands and feet, thighs off the mat, exhale, downward facing dog. Very good. So a different transition. Let's come forward again, inhale, forward to plank. Lower halfway down, Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale, excellent, good. Lift up your heels off the mat, bend your knees. You're gonna look forward and take a hop. Come to the front, feet together, inhale, look up. Make a halfway lift. Exhale, fold over the legs. Good, inhale, stand up, look up at your thumbs. Exhale, take the thumbs at the heart, saluting the sun. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, fold all the way down. Halfway lift, look up. You're going to step or hop back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Bent elbows, halfway, upward facing dog. Look up, downward facing dog, the gaze to the navel. We'll take three breaths together, inhale, exhale one. Inhale, exhale two, inhale, exhale three, very good. Pick up the heels, bend the knees, look forward, you're going to hop to the front. Feet together, look up, exhale, fold over the legs, beautiful. Bend the knees, sit the hips down, reach the arms up, Utkatasana, chair pose. Good. Look up at your thumbs. Stretch the waist upwards, away from the hips. Inhale, exhale, stand up. Good. Interlace all the fingers, including the thumbs, and release only the index. Now take the bend out of your elbows as much as you can and lift the shoulders up. Up, up, up. Good. A little bit, drop the tailbone down, pull the ribs in. Inhale, stretch up, and you're going to bend to the right side. Good. What tends to happen is we collapse, so make sure your eyes are facing forward. And we're taking the bend out of the elbows. Take the bend out of the elbows. Use the strength of the arms to pull. Right armpit forward. Left hip forward for three. Yes, two, one, and coming back to center. Gorgeous. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, hips move to the right. Fingers up and over to the left. Belly in. Eyes forward. Concentration. Good. Lifting up through the pelvic floor, drawing the navel in, inner feet to the floor. Yes. Come back to center. Excellent. Keep the arms up. Inhale, look at the ceiling. Good. Look at the ceiling. Try and create a cow tilt in your spine. Remember the cow tilt? Can you reach the sitting bones back? So look at me for a second. Yeah, remember this is our cat and this is our cow. Can you create a cow tilt in your spine? Good. Now look up at the ceiling. See if you can start pointing your fingers at the wall behind you. Point the fingers at the wall behind you. 
Good. When you can't point back anymore, start pressing the hips forward. Hips forward, arms back for three. Elbows straight for two. One. Beautiful. Slowly come up. Excellent. Inhale, stretch up. Now we're going to look forward and hinge at the hips. You can bend the knees, but make sure your spine is straight. Pick up your heels from behind. So you're stepping on your fingers, fingers forward like the toes. Pada Hastasana. This means hands to feet, but we're doing it from behind today. Pick up your heels. Back to plank. Take the right hand under the nose and roll to the right side. So we're going to try and balance in the side plank position, Vashistasana. Good, beautiful. Push the floor away. Maybe even look up. Look up at your left thumb. One more breath. Exhale gracefully, slowly come back to plank. Try the other side. Left hand under the nose, so we're rolling over to the left side, stacking shoulder over wrist, <coughs> right hip over left hip. Reach the right arm up. Try even looking up at your right thumb, finding the breath. Exhale slowly back to center. You'll bend the knees, chest and chin and pause. Interlace the fingers right around the base of the spine and pull the elbows straight. From here you can really lengthen your arms upwards towards the ceiling. Keeping the jaw soft, eyebrows relaxed. Good. Take the hands underneath the shoulders and slide forward, cobra. This time take your hands up and interlace the fingers behind your back. Open the elbows wide, lift the chest and look to the right, lift the chest and look to the left. Lift the chest, look to the right, lift the chest, look to the left. One more round. To the right, center, left, center. Good. Arms up and forward. Thighs up. Pretend to love it for three, two, one, and release. Good. So we're going to go to a tabletop and from there you'll take extended puppy pose like this. Hips over the knees, chest to the floor. We have to create fire, okay? So sometimes we think we're creating a little bit of fire in the body and we're so ready to give up, but it only lasts maybe three seconds, right? So notice how the mind is so reactive. What we're doing with this practice is teaching our mind, teaching the nervous system not to react so quickly. Where does change happen? In the pause. In the pause. See, all better now. So, we're going to come into a dolphin pose like this. Stay on your knees, take your elbows about six inches apart, or you go like this, you measure opposite arms, you see? Good. Hands forward, curl your toes under like down dog and lift the hips up. So it's a little bit more intense. Come up on the balls of the feet like a dancer and lift just the right leg up slowly without external rotation. So we're rotating outer right thigh down. Exactly. Exactly. If you want to lift up, you can. For three, two, one, let's change legs. Right foot returns to the mat, left leg lifts. Those of you who are lifting, you can lift. Those of us on the floor, we're really working on pressing the heel forward over the toe, yeah. So really lift this heel up over your toe, that's it. Three, two, one, and change. Excellent, downward facing dog. We'll meet there. Find your breath. Inhale, we're going to come forward to plank. Exhale, lower all the way to the floor. Nice and slow. Good. Go ahead and bend your knees. Grab your feet from the outside. Dhanurasana, bow pose. Relax the face. Wait, don't go yet. 
relax your face, and I want you to imagine that this is the last time you ever get to do it, okay? You don't get another chance ever again. <coughs> so it's the last floor bow you'll do in life. Take a deep breath and exhale, lift up, lift up, good, good. We want to find energy in our spine and kick it through our legs. Find energy in your legs and kick up into your hands. Don't look around, look up, look towards your own back. That's it for three, two, we want to be on the soft part of the belly, one, that's it. Slowly lower, take a break, look to the right, let the arms relax by your body, palms face up. Beautiful. Okay. Use your hands to press yourself up onto your knees. Stand up on your knees like this. And you'll take your hands to your lower back, fingers pointing down. Remember the cow tilt? Create a cow tilt in the spine. The reason I'm asking you to create a cow tilt, I know it seems weird, but the reason I'm asking you to do it, there's a reason. The reason being that most people, when I ask them to create a back bend, what they do is something like this. Okay? Which is normal, because it's scary to bend back, and it's scary to use our heart freely. Okay? It takes a lot of years of practice. I want to cut out, these are the hip flexors. You overuse them. This is your lower back, you overuse it. I'm cutting out the hip flexors and making you use your heart first. It's good advice in general for life too, okay? Don't start here, start here. Hands to the lower back, create a crease in the hips. Now lift the chest, look back behind you. Good, now use your hands to push the hips forward and continue to look back. Now nice and slow, take your hands to your lower back and lift up slowly so the head will lift up last. Sit down. Sit down. Good. Take a moment. It's a lot. So the asanas, the postures, they're not creating the sensations that you feel. So if you suddenly feel a lot in your back, the posture didn't make it up for you. It's just showing it to you like a mirror. Like if I go to the mirror and I'm like, Oh, that's weird. I didn't know it looked like that, right? But the mirror doesn't, is not in control of what it reflects. <laughs> it just reflects. So the asana is the same thing. If you feel something in your body, the posture doesn't create it. It's showing you. It's always there. It's just showing you so you can begin to acknowledge it and to transform it. So we do it one more time. We have to finish up but I wanna do it one more time because I want you guys to come out like this, okay? So just look. Now, what I saw is a lot of us were kind of confused about how to come out, which is fine. You're kind of coming out like this, okay? We wanna move the spine like a wave. Remember we were practicing those waves in the beginning and they felt nice, probably. We wanna move in the same way. So when I come in, I create a bit of a cow tilt, then press the hips forward. I come into the pose, and when I come out, I'm gonna take my hands back and sit down. The last thing to come up is the head. Do you see that wave that we've been working on? It's the same thing, okay? So let's try one more time. Stand up on your knees, take the hands to your low back. Create a cow tilt in the spine to begin. Lift the chest, inhale, look up. Now press the hips forward, hands to the heels. Lifting the chest upwards. Closing the mouth, open your eyes, open your eyes. To come out, take the hands to your lower back first, sit down. Hands to the thighs, head lift up last. Good, beautiful, excellent. Back bends will help to heal the spine. Is what tends to happen, right? We droop down. 
not just when we're older people, even when we're young, okay? So help to strengthen your spine, which will, the spine holds your brain, holds the nervous system. So it's the key, essentially, to well-being. Very important to practice back bends, to open the space, open the heart, open the throat, okay? Excellent. Okay, reach the arms up, press the palms. Try and close the ribs, take the back bend out of the body and slowly hinge down. Try and get the forehead to touch the mat first. This is called half tortoise, Ardha Kormasana. Empty the lungs, take a deep white breath into your lower back. Good. And then a deep white breath into the middle and upper back. Beautiful. Press the shins down, arms strong, lift up the way you came in. So the body and the arms together lifting up. Good. Relax the arms by your side and swing the legs underneath you so that your feet are on the floor and your knees are bent. Take your arms and reach them under the legs, look for opposite elbows. Inhale, press the chest to your legs. Exhale, tuck chin away from chest, pull the navel in around your spine. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Inhale, come to center. Come up on the tippy toes. So you're sitting tall on your sitting bones. Extend the arms forward. Lift the shins up, the feet up. Good. From here, if you can, you can straighten the legs. Try and take the rounding out of your spine. Pull the navel in. Good. Faces relaxed and soft for three, two, one, good, bend the knees, extend the legs. Paschimottanasana, bend the knees a little bit. With the first three fingers, grab your big toes. Now, stomach and thighs have to touch. I don't wanna see anything like this, okay? So the stomach and thighs have to touch. And from here, you slowly look forward. You never look down, you always look at your toes and you slowly work the backs of the legs down. Don't look down. Uh-uh, look forward at, at the big toes. That's it. The stomach and thighs have to touch. There you go. Good. Deep inhale. Full exhale. Deep inhale. Full exhale. Inhale, look up. Straighten the arms and come out of the pose. Good. Take the right ankle past the left heel, Ardha Matsindrasana. Right arm behind the back. Lift the left arm up, inhale. Exhale, left elbow outside the right knee, look over the right shoulder. Press yourself forward in front of the sitting bones. Inhale, belly in, get tall. Exhale, twist, twist, twist. Good, come back to center, switch. Right leg forward, left leg up and over, left arm behind the back, right arm up, inhale, exhale. Right elbow outside the left knee, shift the weight forward instead of back, suck the belly in, and see if you can grow taller like um, a screwdriver. Inhale, exhale, twist, twist, look to the left, twist. Good, coming back to center. Extend the legs, we're going to scooch forward, and actually, you know what, you're gonna turn around, turn around, and lay down on the floor. Bend the knees into the chest and wrap the arms around the shins. Take a deep inhale in, and a full exhale out. Good. Hold on to the outsides of the feet in happy baby pose. Just open the legs apart. You can also flutter the lips like this. <sighs> 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 
Excellent. Good. And then we're going to meet in Shavasana. So corpse pose. You'll take the arms and legs on the mat as wide as you like and let the palms face up. So I'm going, you're going to hear my voice. I'm going to name body parts. And your job is to relax each body part as I name it. Close your eyes and let yourself become very heavy on the floor. Relax your eyes. Let them fall back into their sockets. Relax the cheeks, the corners of the mouth, relax. The jaw, the teeth, the tongue. Relax the ears, the sides of the head, back of the head the forehead and temples. Relax your hair, the back of the neck, the throat, relax. Relax your shoulders, elbows and wrists. Relax your thumbs, the palms of the hand, and each finger relax. the backs of the arms and armpits, the sides of the waist. Relax the hips, thighs, and knees. Relax the calves, ankles, and heels, soles of the feet and toes. Relax. tops of the feet, backs of the legs, butt relaxed, lower back, middle back, upper back, back of the neck, back of the head. Relax the whole face again, deeper the throat and now move into the heart space relax the chest relax the belly no concerns no concerns you are at ease let the vibrations move through you Feel yourself becoming heavier and heavier. And then from that heaviness, see if you can become very light. So light that you're beginning to float 
above the floor. And then like a feather, allow yourself to return to the mat. Take a deep inhale in and a full exhale out. Good. Again, deep inhale, full exhale. Take your breath to your feet and hands, to the fingers and toes, and take a few small movements as you return to the body. From here, we'll reach the arms up over the head like a yawn and roll to the right side. So we have a transformation, a rebirth after each Shavasana. Come into your seated position like we started. Close your eyes. Listen to the sounds outside. Listen to the voices, the sounds inside now. It should be a little bit clearer than the beginning. A little bit more quiet. The stillness, the pause is your power. Take the hands at the center of the chest in prayer position. We'll take three ohms and three shantis. Shanti is the Sanskrit word for peace. So you take a peace for you, for yourself, a peace for the world that we're in, and a peace for the universe that we don't know, all, all the things that we don't know, which is mostly everything. <laughs> take a deep inhale in. your hands to your forehead. This is insight. Take your hands to your heart, compassion, unconditional love, and bow down to yourself, to the earth, to all your teachers, to your ancestors, everything that's brought you here. Namaste.